all right good morning it's uh 5 50 calling for a small craft advisory today so we're gonna see how this plays out but uh got tad down from richmond doug keegan we're gonna go try to catch some spade fish at uh chesapeake bay bridge tunnel maybe uh maybe get on some sheep's head we're just gonna try for a little bit of everything see what happens but uh we're trying to get over there before this weather picks up right now it is glass calm but they are calling for 15 to 20 mile an hour winds today so this might be either weatherman was completely wrong or we're just getting ahead of it before it starts but as long as we can get there before the northeast starts blowing we should have a nice little sheltered area behind the island so here we go leaving the dock dark and early but uh we're fishing we're going to uh be dropping some clam down here we got some clam chum over see if we can't catch a few fish definitely breezy all right first fish got a tall tall caught him on the uh on the hard crab see if we can get one a little bigger it's a keeper fish in the boat that's gonna be a keeper today it is rougher than hell out here i don't know if you can see this but it is two to three maybe pushing four we're uh taking her slow we're heading to eastern shore to get out of the walk get out of the waves and the wind try to do some sight fishing but on the way we're just gonna slow troll for some mackerel what we're doing is we're running number one and number two planers with a uh, spoon behind them about 10 foot of uh, leader line and that's how we're running these things So we are here at the concrete ships over at Kipta Peak and uh, we're just bouncing some minnows along the edge of this thing out of the wind. Trying to see if we can pick up a couple flounder. These are old, uh, I think World War II ships that were made of concrete and steel. Somehow they floated, so pretty cool. All right, flounder in the boat, 14 and a half, just shy. So when you're trolling for Spanish, you want to make sure that you don't slow down the boat to a stop. Because if you do, you'll take that tension off of the hook in their mouth, and 99% of the time it will just shake right off your hook. You always want to have the boat in gear and keep it moving. Another good one too. Ow! It's like a blue. Bluefish, flip them in. This is what you want to look for. You want to look for these birds flying around, diving. That lets you know that there's uh, some activity going on in the water. Especially when you see dolphins circling up schools. There's a dolphin right there. Another one out there. So we got a big old bait ball right here. A bunch of dolphins working it. We got the pelicans diving on it. Dolphins right here in front of the boat. Look at that. They are hammering. Hey, 
watch your step when you get in the tower. Oh. <laughs> Welcome back. Why'd you kind of try to leave me like that? What? Dude, I grabbed the wheel and came straight for you. <laughs> All right, well, that was fun. Uh, tried to climb it up in the tower and decided I uh, was going to take a dip. So uh, it was either fall on the bottom of the boat or gracefully dive in. So uh, I took the, took the swim. But uh, good times out here today. Always got to be careful getting in that tower when it's snotty. Another Mac in the boat. If it's going to be cloudy, you might as well catch Spanish. It's a decent one. All right, catch of the day. Whole bunch of mackerel and bluefish. Pretty fish though. All around 16 to 21 inches maybe. Probably the biggest one right there. There you go, there you have it. All right, so for today's mackerel video, we're using a uh, pin 320 to a number two planer with about six feet of line to a regular old silver spoon. This one is a, uh, is a number two. But uh, yeah, so what you do with a planer is you drop it in the water like this and it'll actually drag along and sink it down to a, a good 20 feet or so. Then when a fish hits it, that slides up to the front and it comes straight to the top and your fish skips across the water behind you. These things are awesome. I got a number two on this one and a number one, a little smaller one on this one. And on this one, we were running a, uh, a pink spoon today. But uh, they wanted to eat the number two planter on a plain silver spoon today. We caught probably 12 or 15 on, on these two rigs today. Great day. Fun day out there. Rough, but uh, caught some fish.